Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, I'm Deepesh Somani, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and MVP alumni and you're watching my YouTube channel, Power of D365. Today we're going to dive into role-based site map navigation in Dynamics 365 using table privileges, focusing on the employee table. I'll walk you through the setup, so let's jump right into it. So first off, what is role-based site map navigation? In Dynamics 365, the site map is essentially the navigation manual that users see. The powerful thing is that we can control what different roles see. For instance, if you are an HR manager, you might want to see the employee table, but a regular employee might not need to access it at all. That's where table privileges come in. To illustrate this, we'll be using the employee table in our demo. I've already set up a basic table called employee where we have fields like name, department and job title. But the main focus here is controlling access based on roles. Let's see how we can set that up. If you're starting from scratch, you can create a custom table by going into power apps, selecting tables and clicking new table. I've already done that here and here's our employee table. Next up, let's talk about security roles. Roles define what users can see and do inside Dynamics 365. For our example, we'll create two roles, HR manager and employee. To create or modify security roles, head over to settings, then security and open security roles. For this video, I'll create a new role called HR manager. This role will have full access to the employees table. To do that, scroll down to the custom entity section, find employees and give them privileges like read, write and done. Now, HR managers can see and manage the employees data. Next, we want to limit what regular employees can do. So let's create another role called employee they'll have read only access. And maybe we don't even want them to see this section in the site map at all. For this, go to security roles again, create a new role called employee. And for the employees table, we'll only give them read privileges. Now we can configure the site map navigation to hide the employees table for this role, which brings us to the table privileges feature. Now comes the fun part using table privileges to control the site map. We want HR managers to see the employee section in the site map, but hide it for regular employees. Let's configure that. First, open your app in the app designer by navigating to apps in the Power Apps admin center. Select the app where you want to configure the site map. Here we'll modify our sales hub app. Once inside, click on site map in the left hand navigation. We'll find the employee section and click on it. In the properties pane, you'll see an option for table privileges under the advanced settings. Here you can specify which security roles can access this table. So click on the add table privileges and select employee and select only create privileges. Now click on apply and save and publish this sales hub app. Now this employee table is visible to user who have create privilege on this employee table. This means only HR managers will see the employees table in the navigation menu. All right. Let's test this out and see the result. First, I'll log in as an HR manager. You'll see that the employee section is visible and they can access the data just as we configured. Now I'll log in as a regular employee. Notice that the employee section is no longer visible in the site map. Even if they try to access the data via direct link, their read only permissions limit what they can do. Now we will update the privileges of employee to show employee table in site map. For that, go to the employee security role and provide create privileges, save and go back to employee user and refresh. And that's it. In just a few steps, we were able to control who sees what in the Dynamics 365 site map using role-based security and table privileges. This is a great way to ensure that your users only access the data they need. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Dynamics 365 tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. Power 365 as usual.